So Lakotamab is a humanized anti cur 3 dl 2 monoclonal antibody that is in development for uh, T-cell lymphoma, including uh, mycosis fungoides and uh, Caesarean syndrome. cur 3 dl 2 is a molecule that is expressed in a small fraction of normal T-cells, but is uh, highly overexpressed in, in many different types of uh, T-cell malignancies. So this antibody targets that, that particular molecule. There was a phase one study that was published in 2019 um, with velocutamab in a refractory relapse uh, patient with mycosis fungoides and Caesar syndrome that showed a very good uh, safety signal um, and also very encouraging uh, efficacy signal, particularly in patients with uh, Caesar syndrome. The overall response rate was almost 43% uh, in, uh, in the global population and higher in patients with Caesar syndrome. Caesar syndrome is a high and met need malignancy and therefore any new drug that has activity in that disease is of you know, very strong interest. Um, following the phase one, uh, a fairly large international multi-site um, phase two study was launched. Um, and um, the study has uh, multiple different cohorts. The first cohort is a cohort of Cesare patients or a lapse refractory Cesare patient. That's a registration cohort. So in other words, if the efficacy data are good, uh, then that's, you know, the, the particular cohort has a path to potentially registration. Um, and uh, uh, importantly, patients on that court must have failed uh, one of the current standard of care for Caesar syndrome that is called mogambolizumab, which is a monoclonal antibody against CCR4. Then there are two uh, mycosis fungoides cohorts, a relapse refractory as well, one with a high level of expression of q 3 dl 2 which is defined as more than 1%, uh, and uh, less than 1%. Uh, expression of cure 3 dl 2 Then recently there was an additional core that was added to Telomac, which is a trial um, with all, called all comers. Essentially, that's a core that is going to enroll patients with relapsed refractory mycosis fungoides regardless of the level of expression of cure 3 dl 2 um, That is really kind of to, to, to define better the response rate based on um, expression of cure 3 dl 2 uh, just yesterday, I presented kind of the efficacy results on the Telomac uh, mycosis fungoides cohorts, um, particularly looking at the, uh, the definition of uh, nodal status, which has changed uh, recently. Um, and the efficacy data are very good with kind of a global response rate that uh, it's on, on average about 40%. Um, if, uh, if we, you know, depending on how we define the nodal responses, um, the response rate can be either 38% or even higher, up to almost 43%. So these are, and the safety also was confirmed to be good um, in this population. Um, and, and so these are very strong uh, efficacy data in the MF court as well.